Hey, welcome back everyone. Thanks for uh, checking out this video. I also want to say thanks. I've had a lot of great interaction. Um, it's definitely picking up over the, you know, I started this about a month ago, I think. Um, starting to get some really good interaction um, on YouTube and I truly appreciate that and I love interacting. Um, I'm really active on Twitter, um, you know, and I don't just... I try to look, I may, I think I look at everything, I see everything, you know, I try to like everything usually, uh, or reply or something like that, and again, just thanks for those of you that have commented on uh, YouTube so far, or or on Twitter, that works too. Um, so anyway, going to do a real short post, my fiance had a wisdom tooth out this morning, and she's laying in watching TV, she's a little laid up, but she's doing okay now, so... Figured I could get away for, you know, a little under 10 minutes from playing Mr. Nurse. And uh, so what these cards I got, I'm going to show you today are, um, I mentioned if you've been seeing all my videos or you're on my, you read my blog posts, you know that I headed back to my hometown a couple of weeks ago to visit. And I met up with my friend Jason, who I've known for years. We do a lot of card trading online and when we, or through the mail. And when I say card trading, it's not, hey, I've got this, 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 what do you have? It's more just I send him things that I find for him uh, and vice versa, and he sends me stuff back. So these cards are going to be some. He bought a large collection, I want to say last summer, of 90s sets from someone. So as he's gone through them, he's pulled some of the guys that I collect for me, and that's what a lot of these are. So, you know, probably looking at, you know, 30, 40 cards here, um, but we'll take a quick look and just see what they are. There's a surprise at the bottom, the last card that I don't really want to, eh, well, you're probably seeing it anyway, but I'll move it. It's not big for everyone, but it's good for me. So Will Clark was, uh, Dale Murphy was my first favorite player. I started uh, collecting in 87, started playing baseball in 87. But he was winding down his career, and once he left the Braves, my interest was uh, a little gone in him, and Will Clark was my other favorite, so I am still acquiring his cards. I'm not a super collector, but I like to grab them when I can. So, we've got a few Will Clark cards here, studio cards. Those were always different. Um, I wasn't the biggest fan because I didn't like the lack of... Uh, you know, a, f a name on the front. These are in like an autograph style, but I missed. I didn't care at the time for things that didn't have the text on there, the team, position, name. But hindsight's twenty twenty, and you know, now looking back, twenty something years later, these were pretty cool cards. This is honestly one of my favorite set designs ever. I I don't know what I like about it. I like black bordered cards, so maybe it's because they're blue border. Uh, very similar, um, but I really, that's a solid design. I never tried to work on the set back in, I think these are 94? They're either 94 or 95. What do we got here? They would be 94. So I never tried to work on the set then, but, um, you know, who knows? You can get those boxes pretty cheap now. I don't think there's any, it's not like 93s where there's Jeter rookies and with grading. It's driven the card, the unopened box prices through the roof, uh, 94s I can probably get, I think it was a 2 series set, probably get me a few boxes of those and complete a set for old times sake. Mickey Tettleton, uh, another guy that he sends me a lot of, uh, I caught one year, a uh, couple years, a couple years of baseball and it was kind of at the height of Tettleton's offensive prowess and just became a fan of his. I even tried the batting stance with a flat bat. Didn't really work for me. Um, but yeah, so he was one of my favorites when he was with the Orioles, 90, 91-ish. Um, so yeah, probably see more of him in there. Klesko is something that I am taking to as I find them because that was my uncle who got me into card collecting. He was a Ryan Klesko super collector. Those dudes, there were like three of them. They would turn what should be a $5 card into $75 if they all three or even just two needed them. So Klesko will always have a fond place in my heart. Another Klesko. Love that upper deck design. This. So we got a Mickey Tettleton, we got a Will Clark, and we got a Klesko Silver Signature all out of 
95 collector's choice, I believe. Yes, 95 collector's choice. One of my favorite set designs ever. They went across they went across sports on these. Um, loved them in basketball. I was a I was a Cavaliers fan at the time, and that was the year Bobby Sura was the number one pick. So I had begun player collecting Sura. Loved this set. Uh, they ran it across football too. So I had a lot of these and. As a teenager, obviously, you got a lot of bang for your buck with collector's choice. You weren't trying to pull autographs and jersey cards, so, you know, lower end, there was nothing wrong with it. Not going to lie, I'm not sure why this Eddie Murray's in here. I'm thinking that might have been for Jason because he collects Mets. He might have dropped that in the wrong stack. Got another Will Clark, 93 Bowman. Got some Ultra, another Mickey Tettleton. I got an Eric Lindros. That will be, that will go in my fiance's Stars binder. I am a Stars fan, secondly after the Blackhawks, but I got a little Stars binder for her. Ninety-one Studio. Not a fan. Not a fan of that set, but you know, another Tettleton to add to the collection. Eighty-nine score. We got the rookie there, the rookie Mickey Tettleton. 88 Tops is a set that I have a box of rack packs of that I bought at a local shop. I don't know, within the last year for like 12 bucks. Um, never liked the design as a kid, but man, there was a Rose Nort uh, con at Condition Sensitive, I believe, is the blog name, Condition Sensitive. Uh, he was doing some Rockies custom cards in this design and. They were just beautiful, and it made me appreciate this design all over again. So I do want to put this set together. Um, again, I really like this design. Come on, tops, let's bring some of the, let's bring some of these kind of designs back. Ninety one Ultra Clark. We got a Nikki Tettleton, Tettleton Kmart Superstars. Oh, Clark, the Collector's Choice SE. I know I never really understood what was going on with that. It was the same design as the Collector's Choice, but with a blue border, whatever. Stadium Club, Clark, Tettleton, another Tettleton. There's where I was talking about. I didn't know this was in there with the flat bat. Weird, one weird batting stance. Sure did not work for me. I tried to emulate some others. Um, the Jay Buhner open batting stance worked much better for this guy than uh, whatever you want to call that did. Uh, 90 upper deck, 90 upper deck team checklist. Man, I wish, uh, I miss these kind of things. I miss the Diamond Kings. I miss the artwork um, that was in these sets. These were just beautiful cards. Didn't appreciate them at the time like I do now. Uh, as that song went, you don't know what you got till it's gone. Uh, some Bazooka, Will Clark. Uh, probably will have some more of these as I have a box of these that I bought and still need to open. So I'm sure I'll come into another one of those. Uh, from this year's Upper Deck Hockey, Martin Hansel. Got a Dennis, I don't even know, Gurionov jersey card. Again, both of those will go in my fiance's uh, Stars Binder. It's getting toward the end here. 93 Bowman Tettleton. Ryan Klesko Ultra All Rookie. Good looking insert cards. Man, 90s and inserts were, they were something else. Nah, not as a big a fan of Klesko after he left the Braves, because that's why my uncle was a Klesko collector and a Klesko fan was because he was a Braves fan. So, not as big a fan, but obviously it'll fit into the collection. And the uh, those collegiate cards, I believe is what they were called, collegiate collection. Mickey Tettleton from when he played at Oklahoma State. That's, uh, that is one I've never had. It's a cool little card. So the last card here, one that... Uh, I know Jason bought for himself, actually. And then I don't know if this is that card or he bought a second one for me to send to me. But I believe this is, what is this, Fan Favorites? Because I don't do a ton of new product. Yeah, Topps Archives Fan Favorites autographs of Mickey Tettleton. That is the first Mickey Tettleton autograph I have. That is super cool. Uh, thanks, Jason. I appreciate it. Um... If you're on Twitter, give him a follow at Preserve Hobby. He, uh, we used to do a podcast together called Preserve the Hobby. Uh, we're not doing that anymore, but that's his uh, hobby Twitter account. So give him a uh, give him a follow if 
you're on Twitter. I am at Beans B Card Blog on there. Um, and then you can also find my website, BeansBallCardBlog.com. I posted uh, a couple days ago, I posted a piece on, it was called Card Shop, Where Have You Gone? Or something like that. Or Where Have You Gone, Card Shop? And. I mean, it's called Wildfire. It's already one of the five biggest posts I've ever made on there, and I've had this site for over three years, I believe. Um, on the Fat Packs, which is the Beckett podcast today, Eric talked about it. Um, gotten a lot of positive feedback from a lot of people in the hobby that are, you know, at least social media-wise well-known. So hopefully you'll go check that out if you haven't. I would love to hear your thoughts on the post, on my videos, any of that. I love interacting. So hopefully you'll take a look, find me there. Hopefully you liked what you saw, enjoyed maybe a little walk down the 90s memory lane. And uh, hopefully, if you haven't yet, you'll subscribe and keep checking out my videos. Have a great evening, y'all. Well, or whenever I post this, whenever you watch this, have a great moment. Happy collecting, everyone.